Okay, let's see if this is working. It looks like the stream is starting. And I've managed to do a couple of things here. Um, so the first, here while I'm getting set up, let's go ahead and sleep real fast. It looks like we have a little bit of a delay of about 10 seconds. That should be okay. Anyway. Um, so yeah. A few new quick little updates. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the updates while I work on making some of this ice. Um, so I actually had some help from Sun now. He's got an ice farm now. And so I ordered, I want to make packed ice, I ordered three shulkers worth of packed ice, um, but I told him I would pack it myself, so that meant 27 shulkers worth of just normal ice, and I'm just packing it all right now. It's not going to take too long. But yeah, that was a pretty big order for Sun now. But we traded some, I gave him like, was it like four or five silk touch picks and a few diamonds as well? So, anyway. But yeah, I got a new setup. We went and did like some garage sale stuff today. And. Oh, he's missing some on one of those. Well, I think I have some normal ice. I can go grab some of my own. Anyway, my wife and I, we went and did some garage sale stuff, and I managed to find, we went and we were going um, to this one that said they had electronics looking for an extension cord with the surge protector, just on the off chance that they had something really cheap, right? Anyway, we ended up finding one. They had an 8-plug one, and like asked them if it worked they said it did and everything well it turns out the 8 plug one it did not work and so I opened it up and it had had some kind of fire on the inside like you could see burn marks on some of the wires and so I'm assuming that it protected something from a surge but that that killed the thing and they still charged just like 8 bucks for it oh he missed another one how many of these did he miss? So let's just toss that over there. Anyway. So that was kind of a disappointment. But then they had another monitor for 10 bucks, Like just a monitor there sitting out there. Um, same thing asked if it worked. They said that it worked as well. After the the other thing didn't work too well though and I wasn't really sure what you know like if it would actually be worth it or not but I went ahead and gave it a try and it seems to be working it's definitely not the nicest monitor like it's um it's only doing like 1440 for the resolution 1440 by like 800 or whatever it is so not the greatest resolution, but I figured just to be able to monitor my streams and to be able, when I do some work on fixing other computers, then you know it would come in handy. A lot of times when I'm working on other computers, I like to not use my main computer setup and have to take that all down and everything, right? So it's nice to have just an extra monitor. Anyway, yep, so I have a new monitor that I can monitor the stream. Looks like I got a few people watching so thanks you guys for joining in so that was new I'm trying to think what else is new so the server is still going really well it's kind of slowed down a little bit with school starting again because we have a lot of the people are either um, there's a couple that are towards the end of high school and then a few in college and, you know, so it's like everyone's finishing up their summer vacations kind of thing, which is pretty normal, so. 
but we still have, you know, a few active people. I was on the other day and there was like five or six other people on. So we're still having, you know, people on pretty much every single day, which is awesome. And a lot of big builds going on too. I will show you guys once I get this packed ice finished up. I'll go ahead and give you guys a little um, view of what I'm working on on my base here. Because it turns out I decided to build a gigantic build again. I finally came up with a design. I put it, an image in the Discord. I don't know if I'll be able to find it directly to hurry and show you. I really need to go grab a couple more things of ice. Okay, I'm going to start just getting rid of the ones that are empty so I'm not just sitting here looking through all the empty ones over and over again. Okay, that one's got stuff in it. Sorry about this. I know it's probably a little bit much to be watching on a stream, but just try and hurry and get this done because it wasn't going to take too long to make all of this ice, right? And we're okay, let's pop those over. So I need about two stacks or three stacks. We'll just come back with three stacks of ice. Anyway, trying to get back onto my train of thought. Oh, so I went ahead and put a picture of my base design on the Discord. And basically, what I've come up with is I'm going to use these two towers here in the middle. You can see that I extended them up. They're both 64 blocks tall now. And what I'm going to be doing with them sounds like Parker's still awake. Parker's supposed to be napping. He's getting all kinds of grumpy. I'm going to keep those. Okay, we need to grab just a few more things real quick. And then we will be on our way and we'll take off with our Elytra and go do some stuff. Okay, this is the right one that we need. Oh yep, he's peeking out now. He's supposed to be asleep, but he's being a stinker instead and trying to sneak his way out, so I might have to get after him in a minute here. Okay, I guess we can take some chests just in case. Maybe some redstone, because I don't know if I'll need it. Let's definitely take some more torches too. Hey, Parker. That little stinker. Ever since he learned how to open up the door, then he's decided that it's high time to just sit there and come in and out of his room whenever he feels like it. And so it's made it a little bit hard for the whole, um, you know, getting him to take his naps and stuff. One second. Uh, sorry about that delay there. That little stinker keeps on getting out of bed when he shouldn't be. Okay, so just a couple more things to go. So basically, I'm just going to fly. I have an island in mind for where I want to do this. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab, let's make maybe one more thing of 
pressure plates just to be certain. And then I want to take probably a stack of wood or... Where did I have my wood? Let's see if this is about everything that I need. I may need something else, I hope not. But, you know me, it seems like I always end up not bringing enough. Actually, let's go ahead and move the boat out. Okay, so two things that I got to do. One is we're going to fly over and find the location. And then we're going to have to come back, build a quick tunnel to it in the nether. Wait, why am I missing an elytra there? Did I not put one back in the right spot? Oh, I didn't. Let's grab out one of those then. We'll just leave these two be. Let's grab some rockets as well. So because I'm the only person on the server at the moment, oops, I always press Q for some reason. Because I'm the only person on the server, things should go pretty quickly as far as me being able to fly and move around and you should get a good view so let's go ahead real quick while I am still here so the guardian farm you can see I'm adding in glass I'm gonna get the shape down to where it's only pretty much the minimum height that it needs for the guardians you can see I added this big monstrosity up here the iron farm, I may end up moving this up higher. I really don't want to. I may just decommission it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, that's that's going to be a while. This one, I think I am going to just go ahead and hide in another pillar. And it has been working again. We got some new plugins that kind of evened out the mobs, and that's been working. Anyway, so there's a few changes on the base um, before I get too far away. I did go ahead and finish the seven chunk slime farm. It's been working great. And I've also been digging over here in this other area, just expanding this all out. So, you know, just bit by bit, I'm working it out. Anyway. Now there's a specific island that I'm thinking of that's not too large, but not too small. See now this one, I kind of came past here earlier. It's got some shape to it and some hills already and everything, but I think it's a little bit too large for what I want to be doing. I don't know, maybe can I fly all the way around it here? I guess that's not too horribly large. So that is a pretty good size. Huh. So you have that kind of divides it off and then some other stuff. Okay, well let's keep this one in mind. That's about 15, negative 15 by negative 440. I think there's a smaller island still up this way though that would be a little more manageable. Because I want this big enough to have a good racetrack, I don't want it too large. Yeah, this one's also fairly large, I think this one's even larger than that other one, so I'm going to keep on flying through that specific little island there's a little one with dark oak that I was thinking of so it's got some mushrooms and dark oak I got some swamp here some spruce stuff oh 
Oh no, I'm at spawn. Huh, someone's been removing this island here. That's interesting. Okay, let's just go straight out this way then. I know it's over here somewhere. See, I don't want to build this directly at spawn. Oh, here we go. Okay, I think this is the island that I was thinking of. See, it's kind of small that way. Kind of goes on a little bit this way, but not too long. I don't think. Yeah, yeah, I think that's going to be perfect. We'll build it in this this upper section here, so I'm going to have to do quite a bit of deforesting. But we'll kind of work our way through the trees and stuff. Okay, so this... Now we need an area for a start and a finish. Looks like we have a couple of random boats here already. This is about as good as any. So if we do about negative 500 by zero, do some easy math for that. So that would be to do head math, but I'm not that amazing at the moment. I'm a little bit out of practice. I feel like it should be something around, was that like 62? But I'm not sure if, okay, yeah, I was right. So 500 divided by 8 is 62 and a half. I just, I, I wasn't certain, because it's, I don't know, I'm kind of a little bit drowsy right now. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and go straight out from spawn and build a portal at negative 62 and 0 in the nether. Hopefully that will be just off of one of the nether pathways. So spawn... If I go ahead and show you guys this, we have ooh, some more s new stuff. It looks like Soleku went ahead and fixed his roof there. There's a new shop coming in here. I'm not quite sure. Oh, there's a creeper, so let's not land. Not quite sure what that is. It looks like the work has been started on the Colosseum as well a little bit here. Whose shop is this end shop? That is that off of the back of the potion shop? Very interesting. This is completely new. Looks like he might still be working on stuff. I'm gonna explore a little bit. This might be spoilers. Oh, he's just already got the pre-made specific stuff. Nice. That is very, very cool. I like that build. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to do the main thing that I was thinking about, though, and that was going through here. I'll have to check the shops later, but I have been making quite a bit of money in the shops as well. So let's see now. We want to go to negative 62. Wow, this is really. And zero. Looks like I. Is this just supposed to be a ruin? I guess so. Okay, well I'm going to go ahead and put in the portal. If I need to move it later, I can. Uh, 
And I guess... Put them there and call it good. Okay, let's see. The obsidian was in here. Let's grab that. This isn't going to be pretty. Please don't hate me for it. I'll come back and clean it up a little later. I'm just trying to get the base portal in as fast as I can because I've been streaming. Okay, perfect. That actually works out really well for the location there. I thought it was supposed to be, where was it, a little bit this way? But yeah, it's within the, um, the little radius there. That's just fine. Okay, so clearing this stuff out, I'm not going to go too hard on clearing everything out because I, like I will do some torch lighting, but I don't want to go too crazy on all that. I do however need a bed, of course because I always forget something, right? Am I not going to be able to achieve liftoff? Let's see, was that... Okay, that was only one. Any more sheep over here anywhere? Okay, well I don't want to load up this area with a bunch of hostile mobs. So let's just take off. Probably would have been faster to just hop through the nether, but it's not every day that I get to just fly around the server like this. So I'll just fly back to my base and go grab one of the beds from there. Oh, that's a small island too. Okay, well, we've already got one picked out and I think it's a little bit closer to spawn, so... Should be getting up to my base any moment now. I think it's about 1900, it's about 100 more blocks. Oh, here we go. Oh, and you know what? I should have grabbed some wool as well the different colors because I, I wanted to have it a little bit colorful so that chest right there so let's go ahead and grab that as well I guess it's a good thing that I came back like wool for um, that. Let's grab one more. For some other colors of wool and we'll go grab that bed as well real quick. Oh, wandering trader. These guys, five emeralds for spruce sapling. Just blows my mind. They've never had a good trade. Like any other villager, you can find a reason to like want to keep one of their trades normally, but those wandering traders, not really. I guess I put my bed down in there. I thought I had an extra one laying over here, so let's go grab a different one. 
Or do I have that? So that was the pink one. I have a yellow one up in my little AFK spot. I guess we'll just turn and make one real fast. Let's do some cyan. And then for the shulker that we want. My base is kind of messy right now, as you've noticed. I'm going to work on getting it all cleaned up here soon. It's just, um, not quite ready for that. Let's see, okay, so we need some black and white, probably some gray. Grab some more of the cyan and red. Just go for all the colors, I guess. Decorating it probably around the outside with wool. The white concrete we might use to make the pillars to hold up the track. On oh, which one had. Okay, so I should have all the materials now. It should be good for me to start building. I went ahead, I was wondering how to make it work going uphill. And I figured that out. And so we can have the racetrack go around to where it will actually change elevations. Which is going to be really nice. So now I just need to get down there to the 500. And we'll start laying out a little track here, a little circle. I am kind of thinking too of making it somewhat like, I don't know, you guys know, I'm sure you guys know Mario Kart. So in Mario Kart you have like the different little things that you can do to like mess people up, there's little shortcuts. I'm thinking of doing something similar, like as, you know, not 100% because it's Minecraft of course, but. I want to do some fun stuff here. So, let's just get this stuff down. Put down a couple of torches over here just to keep anything from spawning too close. We'll do some more torch lighting later as well, once we're a little bit further along. But for now, I'll just sleep to keep mobs from spawning. Okay, so let's start with that. And we're going to be just using the pack dice to build all this stuff. Okay, I'm just trying to think. What colors we want to do. So let's just start laying out maybe a little bit of a pathway. So the start and end can be right here. Or we could even have it end and then the start is here, kind of like a running track where you start in a slightly different position than you end. Something like that. But then we can go ahead and curve around. And don't be, don't be afraid either to mention in the chat if you want to see something different as well. Like if you have any ideas of what would be fun. But I want this to have some curves on it. I want it to have dips and rises. And so it's going to be, you know, a little bit crazy, I guess. And we're not going to stay only on the land either, because we're in boats. We can totally swing out over the water and stuff, so I think I may do that. 
Actually, we'll just do a nice big long curve out over to that edge, I think. So when you do a curve, See if we can slowly extend that out. Okay, that should be a nice little curve there. And when you do a curve, you just gotta kinda step it up a little bit and then tone it back down. So then we'll keep this going, and then what we're gonna start doing is start bringing it back again now. meet back up with the island there. So I'm just doing this all freehand. I'm not really counting any of the blocks or anything at the moment. And this is kind of just the center line. And this will change up as we go along, basically. Okay, and then this is going to actually start stepping up, right? So now in the step up parts, I've got a little trick that I figured out that works with the boats. And that's just, just use the pistons, right? So over in one of these chests somewhere, I have pistons and pressure plates. So basically on those parts, I'm going to have to figure out the right width. I'm thinking probably five blocks, maybe seven though, if we want to make it big enough to have multiple people racing. Anyway, so let's say we do five and this is the line right here. And that means right here I also want to do those. And we'll go ahead and put these down. And with the boats, they will activate pressure plates if you go over them with the boat. And so to do the steps, like I was kind of worried that it was going to be a pain in the butt, but it's actually as simple as that. So then when you approach it with the boat, you have enough time basically on a boat to be able to make it onto the piston and then it knocks, well, it pushes you up, right? So anyway, it should be just that simple. That will push you up onto the next level. So I gotta kind of clear this out a little bit because we have to make the steps somewhat gradual. So let's see, that goes to... <laughs> That's kind of annoying. Okay. Oh, is it almost time to sleep and I got stuck in a ghost block? Wonderful. Three of them. Normally sand doesn't make ghost blocks because it has the falling animation, but I guess I just mined it out a little too fast with my shovel here. So basically... What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to work out the pathway that this is going to go on. I'm going to work out where it has the changes in elevation, kind of pushes things up and down. I am going to kind of minimize how much it goes as far as up and stretches because this will be a point that kind of bottlenecks players. So I don't want to bottleneck them too hard in one little area like that. I don't know, maybe we could leave it. it. It could mean that it'd get a little PvP going or something too. Anyway, just as far as bringing this up, we're just going to go straight up through this hill here. block there. Let's just take that all out. 
I'm probably going to have it start curving in a little bit at the top here too, so I'll just remove more of this. And just remove all that top. Doesn't matter. Okay, we had some sand here. Okay, I'm just going to disconnect real fast just to make sure we don't have any more ghost blocks just chilling that I'm not seeing. a turn on it? I maybe could start the turn right here. So let's see. So those push you onto ice. I don't know if I need an extra if I need an extra block here or not for you to start gaining speed again. Here, so let's try this. We'll just put that in real fast. I'm going to put in some more pistons. And we'll just get a little bit of speed. I, I want to do this at a low speed so that we know that it works at faster speeds. Anyway, let's go ahead and put these down. And just see if we hop in the boat. If we'll be able to get going fast enough to be able to just climb that continuously. Okay, we did not. Looks like we're actually getting trapped in the piston there. Oh, wonderful. Boats are not like in this latest update. Okay, so... This has to go. We'll go ahead and step it back to three. I wasn't... I wasn't quite sure how that would work out. But I guess we know that much now, right? Another possibility I was thinking about testing was actually water streams. Because you might be able to use those as well. Okay, let's just try this again. Uh, you'd almost. Okay, so I did make it up that time. So looks like maybe one more and for sure I would make it. Not 100% on that, but I think it might be just enough. get enough speed then you just don't make it. Okay, but that did work there. So we need four long. So I'm going to have to actually step this back quite a bit more and it looks like we will want to just keep it going straight as long as we're trying to climb. So good to know. block right here somewhere too. Oh, a couple of them. Yeah, I don't know if that's just a server thing or if it's just because I've had that in past Minecraft worlds as well where I ran into those ghost blocks. 
even in just a single player world. Like I don't know what it is about Minecraft that once you get into efficiency 5 that it just doesn't like it, but... I can still hear Parker in there playing. He shouldn't even be awake right now, but I guess that just means he'll stay in there longer. I guess I went one too far. respond to her because she's at the, the thrift store right now. She's looking for some more little things for the family. So as far as making obstacles and stuff and little shortcuts, it really depends on how things work out with everything right here. But kind of what I'm thinking is in my last survival world, I learned that with wooden buttons, when you hit them with an arrow, that it will push them in and so you can actually activate redstone just by shooting an arrow at a wooden a wooden button and I'm sure you guys probably know that because it seems that there's just some random gaps in my knowledge but it's actually a lot of fun like having that kind of is that one too far back okay Anyway, so I have random gaps in my knowledge, but luckily I've had really good people watching my streams to help me out when I do come to some of those random gaps in knowledge. Oh, what is this doing? Okay. Now as far as putting edges on stuff, I think we might have to do that for like a harder difficulty kind of thing. I don't know, we'll see how people do with this the first time through. If it's popular enough then maybe I'll work on making another course. It's just kind of an unknown for me at the moment. Cause yeah, I probably will have to add on some bumpers and stuff here, right? we'll do is that okay anyway so if we go on here whoa <laughs> I just broke the boat <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh poop let's see I had the two block gap why did that... it just like freaked out and totally destroyed my boat. That was a little bit unexpected there. Oh boy. Okay, well, I saw another... Yeah, there's a boat right there. I'll go steal one of those other boats, I guess. Mm -hmm. Just put away some of this random dirt and grass and stuff that we don't need on us at the moment. Okay. That was a little bit unexpected there. Just like... Oh, looks like there was one of the hidden treasures there. 
someone came and found it and dug it out. We might have to fix this up a little bit. Got another boat over there. I don't know whose boats these are. So whoever random person on the server is using jungle boats over here. I just left them. I'm going to borrow them. It's just one less entity that's just taking up extra space on the server. Let's try this again though. So if I come at it at an angle, then... Oh, there we go. So yeah, something with trying to do multiple. It's not seamless at all. But as far as working, it does work. That might be kind of fun just to leave that as a little bit of a hazard if you have multiple people. So what we'll have to do is just get multiple people going on some of the spots like that and just see how it all works out. I remember it's seeing another boat. I guess it was further down here, right? Let's go pick that up. I'm just going to drop a couple of the extra boats in. Ooh, in the chest there. I did not get much sleep last night. Sorry about that. Do I have... I just realized I have my Minecraft music. Is it my headphones that are... I don't know, I just, I just realized that I don't think I'm actually hearing any audio, so I hope you guys can hear the audio okay. That would be really lame if I totally messed that up again. And all my other stuff. Anyway, so let's bring this on down. And I think we'll give it a little bit of a straightaway here. And then I'm going to want to take another turn. Do I want to step down again? I can. Yeah, we can step down and go down the coast here. So we'll just go ahead and start going down a little bit. The drop-offs. We'll do another one here. Just use that as we kind of come around the coast. And we might even just follow directly around the coast right here. Okay, and then I think right here... We may need to start climbing again. Just a little bit at a time, so let's actually remove that back. So you got one, two, three, and then a piston. Then one, two, three, and then we can put another piston here. Two, three, piston. We'll keep it on this level and come out over trees here have a little corner. I'm just trying to work with the island, right? So if it has little curves and stuff on it, then I'll try and do the same thing. And I think we can come right in between these trees here. want to keep it on this level because of that. Great. Okay, and then I think right here we'll step it down again. Let's 
step it down again and again. And then I think a sharp corner here. Like that's going to be a really tight corner. So they're going to come flying through here and then you're going to have to make a really tight turn. And then we'll go out this way down over to the beach again. And then we'll do a really tight U-turn. And for the U-turn, we'll leave it at about three, three. Basically, you'll have to just come flying around a really tight corner there. And then I actually want to start stepping it up again. So we'll do that. One, two, three. Because then what we're going to do is we're going to come straight through this mountain here, I think. So yeah, we'll keep it on level with this. We'll remove a tree here. And then I want to just go straight through. So probably, let's just remove a thing right here. And we'll just kind of open up this area and then see what we come out to on the other side. If we want to, we maybe should go ahead and start raising it up as we go through the mountain as well, right? Look, like if we do one here, make that a piston, and that means we need to go down. One, two, three, four. Okay, does not look like I'll be able to get this done on the stream today because I, I only want to go for about an hour but I'm hoping we can at least get this all linked up and then I'll finish it off screen and probably the next time you see me stream I'll be trying to test this out with some other people and we'll do some you know some good testing uh, great caves that I need to light. Let's see how many there are. So it's not too deep here. I just need to hold on to a couple of torches at least. Hello there, dude. Okay, we'll have to come back to that. Okay, looks like we're popping out right here. Right under that tree there. It's going to be great. And it looks like we're going to need to keep on climbing too. So let's see. One, two, three, four. So it looks like we can come through there, we'll come up, probably take a turn in here, honestly. This is looking like a nice little spot to take another turn over towards that edge of the island. Oh, almost time to sleep. I 
So I'm going to try and keep the amount of trees that I'm cutting down and stuff to a minimum. Just not go too crazy on it. Anyway. You know, I am really liking this whole second monitor setup that I've got going. Because it's at least letting me... Oh, hello there, white dog. I don't know how long ago you said that, because I, I didn't quite see where the chat was coming in, but... <laughs> re I am, I am enjoying this whole second monitor setup, though. This is a very cheap monitor, but it was definitely worth the 10 bucks to have a way to do that, because, I don't know, I guess Minecraft, I could do it in windowed mode, but I do like having the full, um, you know, the full visibility going, everything. So let's go ahead and turn this. I'm going to go straight through that mushroom. Okay, so if we just keep on... I'm going to lay this out. So we'll have a step up here. We'll just take this out completely. And I need to get working towards finishing up the stream here. So then we're going to take a turn as we go down, I think. So go ahead and start working our way down this way. So we'll do a pretty quick drop. We could even make that a jump, because you don't take fall damage in the boat, right? Going through here, we also have the baby waking up. Great. I'm going to keep on coming through here. We'll loop down to the beach here. Skim the beach. Probably keep it on this level though. Go through here. Go through here. Follow my way around. <laughs> okay. It's like the stream is about to end very soon, guys. I got little man is waking up and he needs some attention here in a moment. I'll have to check with my wife to see when she's going to get back. Um, anyway. So bring that back up a little bit. And then where was that starting point? It was down there. Okay, so we're going to come up and then do a corner, loop down, go through these trees. And then we'll probably take out most of these trees along the coast here, because I want to come along through here. And then one last little step back up here, it looks like. And then that should finish the loop. Right, so now if we go ahead, let's just make a little... And we'll do a flight. I didn't bring any slow falling potions, but I need to go ahead and end it here. So let's just take a look at it from up above and see how things are. Let's just get nice and high, and then we'll see if we can get a good look back down. So we have it right here, zooming around here, a climb there comes around through the trees, on down the coast, a quick view, back up through the trees again, around here, down through that pocket of trees, and back to the start. We can go ahead, I'm going to work on adding in other little stuff here, but yeah, I need to get going, my little guy is mad, so I will talk to you guys next time, I'm going to keep on working on this, and hopefully by the next time... I stream, then we will have a working prototype and we can go ahead and start testing it out. 
So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for stopping by, and I will see you guys later here on the Night Quest server.